Hello everyone, it's your boy Chuck Thunder, and here we are again with another Let's Play series episode of Gonzo Rivera's uh, trips around the world. Uh, I've last left off that we were doing the port permits uh, that are the uh, Imperial quest lines, and so I have gone and done some uh, research to find out how to start these up. I already did one last week uh, to get you started with getting the uh, eastern coast of Latin America. Now we are moving down the list uh, on the link that I provided below in this description and in the previous episode's description of what to do next. The next one has to be, and you have to do them in order, after doing the Latin coast, uh, east coast of Latin America port permit, you now move on to the Southeast Asia one. So in order to do this, <clears throat> there's a couple of preemptive things I did before logging in and starting the video. First things first, I already know that this quest is found in Calicut. If you haven't already been to Calicut, good time to do your exploration of India and the rest of these port permits. Uh, port permits, these ports that you don't have, but it's good time to finally sail to Calicut. So first off, that's where it is. However, before you make the trip, and this is why I say this, before you make the trip, you must have 50 beer on you come with the beer don't go all the way to Calicut in India before you get it have someone give it to you wherever you are buy it wherever you got to go to get it get 50 beer I got 66 on me it is the most important part of this trip make sure you have enough beer on you to do this quest I went to London and did trip in and out of London three times to get the 66 beer that I had then I sailed from London all the way down along the western coast of Africa. So first in London, sailed down the western coast of Africa. I picked all of the ports along the way till I hit down here. Then I picked up all the ports until I hit Mozambique. And then as soon as I hit Mozambique, I made like a 45 degree angle turn and started heading across the Indian Ocean. I went on this angle, I went around this island here, and then across until I hit Calicut. Actually, I missed it and I hit Cochin instead, but that's okay. Then I went sailed up to Calicut. So be sure to get the port permit, uh, the port permit to get the beer before you go, and pick up the ports along the way. You don't have to get all the ports along the Indian Ocean here and going into the Red Sea and down these little areas here. You don't have to do that. You can do that when you got the free time or while you're out here after you finish the quest line here. You can do that. But right now, get your butt to Calicut with 50 beer. Once you're in Calicut with 50 beer, you're going to talk to your consoles. Now, when you first come into the city, you can come into the port at the harbor, and along the harbor are all of the consoles. To the far, uh, well, I guess if you're looking at the map, uh, this map, just below the craft shop and just before the shipyard starts the Spanish console. And then after the Spanish console, you have the Portuguese console, and then the French console. Is not here, but he's a little over here. And then there, there, and then another guy down here. So, I'm the Spanish. I go to the Spanish console. This is where you're going to pick up the quest, Imperial contract. The quest that you're going to do is called. Where is it? Instructions for supply delivery. This one is the one that says you are thus requested to deliver 50 barrels of beer to a collection area. The collection area is the red flower on the southwest coast of the island of Sumatra. Okay, so that is the quest we're looking for. I'm going to go ahead and accept this quest. That is the first thing. Before you go there, make sure you have 50 beer. You can even make it from wheat if you are one of those people who can make it. <clears throat> Talk. Uh, you can even make it uh, in Seville, which is good to know because wheat is in Seville. But anyways, once you're there and you've gotten the quest, take this quest and we're going to sail to the Sumatra Southwest Coast. Now, luckily for us, when you look at the map, here are all of these landing points. It will give you the Sumatran Southwest Coast right here. So it's a good of ways. It's Once you get here, it's kind of like a cross, you know, from here. If we come down to Cochin and we go out this way, it's going to be just on this side of this longer island. So that's where we're going to go. And I'm even, while I'm here, um, I don't know that I can pick up any of the 
ports here until after this, because this is what we're trying to unlock right here. This is the Southeast Asia ports. And it seems like we've only unlocked these ports all up to here, which there are a couple, and just this island of Sumatra Southwest Coast. So that's where we're going to head. So we're going to go right to our port. Got your 50 beer on hand. By the way, this might be a good time if you want to, because you're going to make multiple trips back to Calicut. <clears throat> to go to the market and buy some pepper because on the way back you should have some pepper pepper is an expensive spice that you're going to want to have and then once we drop our 50 beer off we're going to have more space for it so pick up my 50 pepper while I'm here alright uh, while I'm also here just because I haven't done it yet and I don't, mean to, I don't mean to delay but while I'm here <clears throat> I am going to go to the bank and I am going to do the things I should do every day if I can talk to the guy there we go Oh, something you should do everybody when you get to Calgary for the first time talk to the bank clerk they increased the limit of my vault just by getting here please feel free to use the extra space as necessary well that's nice and convenient good to know everybody as you learn something every day Go to the vault, and look at that, I have five new slots. Oh good, we're going to get rid of all the things that I don't use on a regular basis. We're going to get all rid of these boat, these outfits. I don't usually wear them. Thank goodness. Cool. Thank gosh we have that. Alright, so anyways, the thing I was going to say to do was to do all your designs and stuff. Anything that you need to, to do your upgrades for quarters. I'm going to develop my facility for here. I guess this wouldn't be a bad time. No, I can't. I have to do it from my major city, so I can't do it from here anyways. But there you go. Cool. Major important part to do here. Now we can get on the port. By the way, uh, if I sniffle in, <clears throat> coughing or sneezing, I am a little under the weather. Do not have COVID. I just got a test done today, a rapid test with a 90% effectiveness rating has told me that I am negative. And I even got one of the deeper nasal swabs too, just to be extra safe, uh, waiting on those results. But technically, by the standard of what my job has made me do, I am negative, even though I might sound a little sick. <coughs> Excuse me. I promise you're not going to get COVID from me. And even if I did, you wouldn't get it over the internet. Alright, so we're going to stock up on our provisions because we don't know how long we're going to be out for. I'd like to get whatever remains here because once I'm out there, you can't restock in this stuff. So you, you got to have enough on you. I would say go with at least 20 days just in case and have frugality. But we're not going to unlock the Southeast Asia permit just by getting there. We're going to have to come back and hand in the quest. So be sure to have some, some uh, inventory of your food and water. All right, let's do this. Now I have gone and used already a couple of boosts uh, today. I've already used the uh, speed boost by 10% for 30 minutes and the experience boost for 50% for five hours. Because I do plan on playing the game for a good while. I've got some time before I need to be anywhere today. So I figured this would be a good chance to port permit uh, do the port permit quest and port hop and get all of the adventure experience I possibly can by visiting these places and getting the adventure experience for sailing in a new region and also the adventure experience for porting in new regions and getting these port permits, uh, these port uh, discovery cards. So, good idea to do. If you're going to be doing this quest and you're going to come out to the Indian coast for the first time, definitely use a five hour experience boost if you have it. Um, because you can spend some time doing it. Don't use it unless you don't plan on doing it for a while. But if you do, use it. Special item effects. Ship increase, increase for another probably like 10 minutes. And experience acquisition increase. Good for five hours. Now, I don't recall where all of the cities are on the maps here. Um... Like I said, if you have GVO Navi going and you're using surveying, you'll have that information. Ugh. By the way, bring bring these to get out of the battles. Bring them. 
Especially right now. Mm, these are lawless waters, meaning that these guys are going to be extra violent. So. And I do not have the levels to battle these guys, and I just broke my uh, amulet. Yeah, I broke my amulet, so. I don't have my amulet of sun anymore. So. Lesson learned. Let me go ahead and use one of these two since I'm going to be playing for a while. Empress. Signifying fertility. I don't know what that does exactly. Tarot cards. UWI. UWI. UWO. And the Empress. Emperor. 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 Empress. The Empress. Come on. Increase skill experience gained by 10%. Restore ship parts durability by 25% when expired. Oh my gosh, this is going to get annoying. All right, let's try to use a ceasefire agreement or two. Hey, it worked. Yeah, if you don't have... If you don't have... Uh, <clears throat> uh, tributes for brigands, definitely get yourself uh, ceasefire agreements. I'm already running low on them. As you might see, yeah, these fine tribute goods are good for dealing with like pirate pirates. Tribute goods for brigands you can get from the moguls in some major cities. So good to have those. Otherwise, have uh, have these guys cease fire agreements with you at the bare minimum. Excuse me while I blow my nose. A little congested. You're gonna get that. You're gonna get that sound in the video, and I don't care. It's a real experience, everybody. Ah, there's a place I could pick up right here. So you know what? We're just gonna grab it while we can. Just because I don't want to miss one, and this is one you might miss if you're not paying attention carefully. Ah. So yeah, getting an increased skill experience gained by 10% is not bad <clears throat> for this quest, uh, for doing all this. I'll get a little extra experience by doing this, which isn't going to be a bad thing at all. By the way, closer you are to land and uh, ports, you're going to be closer to pirate ships, or not pirate ships, NPCs. And if you have a low enough battle experience level, there's a good chance that you might get battled against and you have to use more of them. So what is a general thing that I like to uh, go by is if you are going to be sailing, try to take the least coastal routes. Um, obviously, if you're doing port hopping, you're going to be against the coast. There's just no ifs, ands, or buts about it. You're going to have to in order to get all the ports. But... In the case where I went to Calicut from Mozambique, I sailed straight across from Mozambique right to Calicut, or close to it. There was no pirates along the way, or no NPCs, because I'm not against the coastline. So it is a good way to get back and forth between places. If you're going a direct route, you would have done that anyways, and you would not have gotten attacked until you got closer to land, likely. I know from a my experience of doing this that when you're port hopping here you're going to get attacked dozens of times so <clears throat> bring no war pa secret no war packs or bring ceasefire agreements or bring brigand stuff because you're going to need them for the uh, later times that you are uh, getting attacked uh, I'm going to be using before I do my port hopping I will be using a 30 minute I only have one memorandum of a secret no war pact for 30 minutes here to avoid all battles with ships like these. Um, should have had... If I had an Amulet of Sun, I wouldn't even bother using my brigand stuff. I would just blow them up with my Amulet of Sun. Um, I would prefer to have done that with um, a battle. You know, well, this guy's doing this in a sloop, man. More power to him. I would have preferred to have been in a battle job to get the experience that I would have wanted. Uh, the boost for being in that kind of job, but, you know, 
I would do it just to get the experience when I can because these are some pretty hefty ships to battle against at this level. And I'm only level, <clears throat> not even level 21, I'm level 13 battle level, so high enough that some of these guys will pick on me. All right, so we're headed towards that area right now. If I'm correct about this, and I hit straight east, I should hit right around here, and then I'll ride the coast to there. Could be wrong, though. That's my guess. Alrighty. How much do I still have? Speed boost? Yeah. Gave a speed boost for a good little while. Jeez, my phone is blowing up, everybody. Okay. Almost there with the speed uh, boosts with it. <clears throat> now we are in hostile waters. Oh, we still are. It didn't change. It just changed seas. Still in hostile waters. Okay, yeah, now I'm starting to see the islands here, so I'm getting there. Alright, so I'm getting a lot of comments on the Washington comments, but... <coughs> Excuse me. I'm getting a lot of people posting in the world chat, and like I'm saying, I'm getting it. The world chat is commenting a lot. People often questions asked are, what ship's the fastest? Should I have a fast ship or a ship with larger cargo? And these people are low level, and uh, it makes sense to want that because you realize how slow of a grind it is, you know, to sail and to make money sometimes. So, what I would suggest is listening to this. If you are doing the Sager School quests, all of those ships will be all you will need all the way until you are like level 30 across the board because after that point the ships don't really get that much better than the Sambuk. I, I really have an argument to say, like yeah, there are better ships, don't get me wrong, better ships than the Sambuk that I'm sailing right now especially the Graduation Palaka if you're trying to get as much space as possible or you could do a, um, a Carrick or something, sure <clears throat> but this ship is a good all-around ship for everything. Having 350 cargo versus 390 cargo that my uh, Palaka has, like, or 360, like, I don't even have maximum cargo. Like, it's really not worth the difference for 18, you know? I could have this, uh, you know, manipulated and this manipulated, and it would be just as good, if not better, in some ways than the Palaka. So... Just stick with the sloops, slip with the Palaka, stick with the Sambuk for now. I like to keep this guy around because he's a good uh, ship to give to uh, aides later on because aides are going to be higher trade likely from me, at least in my leveling experience. So stick with the Sambuk, one of the best ships. Do not buy any ships from anybody or anything until well after this, until you have like a ship in mind that you want, something that you're really excited to, to sail. Um, with my other character, um, I've spent countless amounts of money on ships that I wanted to realize that they aren't the best ship. Ask around. People will tell you what the best ship is for your levels. Um, there are websites that can go and figure out what ships are available to you that are not, like, purchasable only with money, like you can purchase with ducats or, or trade for. Don't buy anything from the Astro Shop that, you, you know, I call it the Astro Shop, the uh, Treasure Cove or try to gamble for it just have somebody build you something good there are people out there that will build you good ships for a decent change if you have the money if not there are even people out there who will gift you good things um i had a guy gift me a really good battleship something i didn't have because i wasn't really much of a battleship guy and it's actually better than my it's like got more cargo than my cargo ship the only downfall is it's slower than my cargo ship, so I really don't use it. I actually give it to my aide, and my aide uses it. So, like, it is a good idea to just hold on to the, the Sambooks. Use that, mostly. This ship is a good little ship. It'll do everything you ask it to. 
all the way up until like level 30, 35 in most of your levels. You'll be fine. Uh, so if you're trying to make good money with this ship and you have an aid and you can stack a little bit more cargo with you, the best thing I could suggest to do money-wise and also grind skill that I have experience doing is grinding pigs. Grinding pigs into ham and then selling them in farrow is a good way to turn a couple hundred dollars, a couple, like, I think a pig's like a hundred ducats, like, and turn it into 400. So you're going to quadruple your money make minus whatever food you put into, you know, buying it to increase your vigor to turn it into ham. But, you know, that's, you're going to make four times your money. You're not going to make, like, millions. You're going to make hundreds of thousands over the course of several trips, and then you can make millions. So it's not... It's not impossible to do that and also grind your, your skills up at the same time. Don't try to make money quick in this game. It's not going to happen unless if you happen to fall into some nice stuff. It's worth quite a lot. But Alright, so we made it to the southwest Sumatra landing point. This is where our goal is to be. So we're going to go to explore land. All right. Now that we're here, which I realized once I did this last time when I was on this kind of landing point, I realized I, said, I don't have landmark ribbons. Yes, I do. I could have saved myself a trip. Have some landmark ribbons. If you haven't watched my other videos, they will save you some trouble of walking. All right. So we are, I don't know where exactly where we're here. We're going to go to this flag right here. That flag is where we're going to see those red flowers that the quest talked about. We're going to head there and we're going to do... Uh, I don't know if we're going to do anything there. I think we're just going to click the rock, and that should be enough. I'm also going to eat some food. I have some vigor. All right. I don't see anybody to battle, which is nice. Walk across the water. You won't drown. I promise. And there's those red flowers I was talking about. So go ahead and go right to them. All right. Click that. And that should do your quest. We you supply 50 barrels and take it down your name and nationality. I don't know who did this. I don't see anybody here, but apparently we did it. Just make sure. Quest should be complete. We're just going to double check. Mm. Quest complete. Now we just need to go back to Calicut. Okay. Oh, wow. Now there's people here. All right. So this is what I said. If you have a landmark ribbon, go ahead and use it. It'll teleport you back to the opening in which you came from. And you can finally leave. All right. So, everybody, that is the quest. Really simple. Just get... I make it seem simpler because I didn't show you my trip to London and the long sailing trip it took to get to Calicut. This might be one of the worst sailing trips you'll do, at least that I can remember. But be sure to have the beer before you go. There may or may not be somebody in Calicut with beer for you to buy from. I mean, it'd be smart if somebody did, but there's not a lot of people doing this quest on a regular basis. So you're not going to make a lot of... Those people aren't going to make a lot of money by sitting there with beer, sitting there waiting for someone to buy it. So be sure to... Yeah, I can't auto-navigate because it's lawless waters. So be sure, see look, I already used 8 days, so it's a good idea that I did take 30 days. Um, it's a good idea to go well prepared before going to Calicut. And that's the main thing I could tell you. Go with the fi more than 50 beer, just in case you lose some, and take the quest, come here, go to the Red Flowers, talk to it, the Red Flowers, and you're done. And then you gotta go back to Calicut and head into the quest, and you're all set. And use this opportunity to get all of those port permits that you don't have in this area. Good, uh, good time to get experience and use your boosts. So, I think with that, I've pretty much finished the quest. I'm not going to bother uh, settling back here and showing you how the hand-in quest works, because you guys know how to hand-in quest. So, thank you all for checking in for this port permit episode. Uh, I'm going to be doing the next port permit episode, the next chance I get an ability to do so. i got to sail my butt all the way back to Seville. <clears throat> um to go ahead and and I gotta do all these port permits the, all these ports pickups so I'm gonna be busy for a while everyone 
Um, I don't know when I'm going to get the next chance to do the export permit video, but as soon as I do, I will upload it and give everybody the heads up, and hopefully to see you there. Be sure to like and subscribe, everyone. Thanks again for watching.